this is Carol Harnett with the One Take Work, Love, Play Daily video blog. And I want to pick up today with the last two messages that I left. The, um, the second to last one was on the fourth thing that I've learned about changing people's behavior. And that's simply that you have to bend your knees, lean forward, and enjoy the ride. Meaning that you just have to, in, you have, to have fun doing what you're doing. And I want to couple that concept with what I talked about yesterday, which is bad science and bad research, or less than that, missharing of research and misuse of research. And combine the two to say, one of the, the strong, fast growing areas in employer-based and community-based wellness and disability and health initiatives is around the concept of trying to have your employees or have it, trying to have your community members simply just have more fun, meaning not that they have to be ridiculously happy, but that they ha function at their happiness set point. And there's a lot that's been in the press the past five days on a Harvard study uh, that was pre-released prior to it being in science on an initiative that they've been doing with a doctoral candidate on tracking your happiness. And their website is trackingyourhappiness.org. And you can sign up for this initiative as well. I did. And you'll get text messages throughout the day. You can control when you get them, uh, roughly the hours between, and, and um, uh, how you get them, whether you get them by text message or by email. But it is a way to start to understand uh, what people are doing and what their state of happiness or unhappiness is. Um, what's interesting about the results that were released last week is the headlines were daydreamers are essentially unhappy people, which felt confusing. Um, I will tell you that there is research that was established back in 2006 that showed that your most creative employees were your happiest employees, but the challenge with those people is they tend to daydream. So I'm going to give you a little heads up now, and we'll talk maybe about it um, throughout the weeks, is that there is some confusion there right in the research. So don't write your daydreamers off. They might be your most creative people. And when you think about yourself, because I think about myself, I've been labeled as someone who is creative and innovative, and I will tell you that... Um, part of what comes from that is what some people would classify as a lack of focus. Don't misunderstand that. So why should you be con why should you be concerned? Why should you be interested? Why should you be interested for yourself? And why you should is we all want to be as happy as we can be. We want to have employees that are as happy and as productive as they can be. And frankly, from a health perspective, we want to have employees that are happy and healthy and spending less on health care. And there's a lot of growing information that this may be the way to go. So this is Carol Harnett with the One Take Work, Love, Play daily video blog. Hoping that you're getting in some good work. Of course, enjoying some love. And don't forget to play. Thanks.